Hey guys, it's Joe, Joe's Tropicals. Today, I thought I'll show you guys uh, some of the guava varieties I'm currently growing. Uh, I think we'll start with the lemon guava, which is uh, grown pretty tall and uh, has really nice leaves. And it's currently in flower. We've actually got a honeybee down there. Let's have a look. Absolutely having a good time in there. Collecting nectar. This honeybee's been here for at least 20 minutes. So absolutely loves these flowers. So that's one pollinator. And um, this uh, tree usually gets pollinated by hoverflies. So it's actually the first time that I've seen honeybee pollinating the flowers. So here's the fruit here. I've got one here that's been um, pollinated, well that's in fruit. We've got another fruit up here. We've got quite a few flower buds over here. More fruit forming and getting larger by the day. We've got uh, more flower bud and flowers down here. And this bee is absolutely loving the flowers. So really good to see, really good to see. And then beside it is my white tropical guava. I grew this from seed or oh, at least four or five years ago. And it's a pretty bushy fella. It's the trunk hidden under, under all that bush. And um, almost every winter it dies back, um, but I'm going to try and protect it um, next winter so that it can fruit next spring, summer. So that's my white tropical guava, lovely leaves, pink um, new growth hair, and a pretty good uh, looking bush. So that's my white tropical guava. Over here is a pink tropical guava, which I've grown from seed. You can see here that's um, snails or slugs eating the way at that. We've had a bit of rain lately and they usually come out when it rains. But this was grown from seed a couple of years ago, doing really well. We've got another one here, pink tropical, it's doing good too. And then over here is a strawberry guava. So I've, I've had this, um, I bought this one probably about a year ago, I think. And it's actually got some flower buds here. So I'm really hoping that this will um, at least give me a couple of fruits this season. It's still young. And actually, if I look down, there's one flower bud that's dropped off. But yeah, it's doing pretty good. Doing pretty well. So guys, that's a... A brief overview of the guavas that I'm growing in my garden and I hope you found this very interesting they're really easy to grow you don't need the particularly the best uh, soil for these it's just a multi-purpose compost I use and I feed them with either liquid seaweed once a week and a bit of um, uh, blood bone fish blood and bone meal once a month Let's go back to that bee, Mr. Bee, enjoying this flower. Alright guys, happy gardening, and I'll see you next time.